Hey guys, it's the Eat Boy, and in today's video, I'll be discussing the top 5 gaming 60% keyboards for Fortnite. But before I start with the video, make sure to hit that sub button. YouTube told me that 99.4% of you guys are actually unsubscribed. Also, make sure to join my new Discord server, which I'll leave the link for in the description. I'll be giving a shout out to the next 50 people who join, as well as everyone who becomes a member of my YouTube channel. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the video. In the number 5 spot, I placed the Diaria DK63. This keyboard comes with a variety of options for switches. While this keyboard doesn't use official Cherry MX switches, it uses no-name switches that closely resemble Cherry MX Black, Cherry MX Blue, and Cherry MX Brown switches. However, this is the reason for why the keyboard is quite cheap as it goes for around $50. It also has dedicated arrow keys, which is not usual for 60% keyboards. While the RGB on the Diaria DK63 isn't extremely customizable, you do get 7 different color settings as well as a few lighting modes. This keyboard also comes with the additional feature of having a removable USB cable and Bluetooth, meaning you can use this keyboard for mobile devices as well. Plus, this keyboard also has feet, allowing you to angle the Diaria DK63 at a higher angle. While this is all great and everything, this keyboard often has issues when being used wirelessly or when connected to mobile devices, as the Bluetooth module can cut out quite frequently. On the bright side however, you do get a 1 year warranty against defects, so if you do have any Bluetooth problems or any other errors, you will be covered. In the number 4 spot, we have the Razer Huntsman Mini, which comes in at around $120. This keyboard uses Razer Clicky Optical Switches and Razer Linear Optical Switches, which are both extremely quick as they have an actuation distance of 1.5mm and 1mm respectively. The Razer Huntsman Mini features a removable cable and adjustable feet, just like the last keyboard. However, it cannot be used wirelessly. This keyboard also doesn't have any dedicated arrow keys, which is a bit annoying. However, the keyboard is one of the small 60% keyboards due to there being less buttons. This keyboard also has full RGB, which can be controlled via the Razer Synapse application. This program also allows you to map macros and save it to the onboard keyboard memory. The worst part of this keyboard definitely has to be its build quality. Even though the keyboard is made of aluminum, it does not feel super sturdy, and should definitely be a lot more rugged for its price. For the number 3 spot, I placed the Mastrop Alt keyboard. With this keyboard, you also have quite a lot of options for the switches. You can get Cherry MX Blue, Cherry MX Brown, Halo Clear, Halo True, Kiowa Box White, and Kiowa Speed Silver switches. The Kiowa Speed Silver switches are one of the fastest switches out on the market as its actuation distance is only 1.3mm, which is about 0.75mm smaller than most switches. You can also change the switches of the Mastrop Alt, since this is a hot swappable keyboard, meaning you can remove the switches and install other switches without needing to desolder or solder anything. This keyboard also has dedicated arrow keys, as well as a page down button, a page up button, a home button, and a delete button which is great for using this keyboard outside of games. You can also reprogram the buttons, which adds to the utility of this keyboard. Another benefit of this keyboard is its build quality, as it has a solid aluminum frame as well as an IP56 waterproof ranking. Plus, this keyboard also has a removable USB-C cable, however it can't be used wirelessly. The final thing to note is that the Mastrop Alt has full RGB with complete customization of the colors and lighting patterns. This keyboard is clearly great as it boasts a variety of features and benefits, but it is extremely expensive as it costs $180, meaning it's more expensive than most full layout keyboards, which is why I did not place this keyboard in a better spot. For the number 2 spot, I placed the Ann Pro 2. This is a really popular 60% keyboard that has a lot of options for key switches, including Cherry MX Blue, Cherry MX Brown, Cherry MX Red, Gateron Blue, Gateron Brown, and Kale Box Brown switches. This keyboard is quite compact, 
and it achieves this by not having any dedicated arrow keys. The Pro 2 has a removable USB-C cable and can even be used wirelessly via Bluetooth. This keyboard also has its own software, which can be used to control the full RGB and customize the macros. Overall, this is a very solid keyboard that has great build quality, is easy to use, and just a great option in general. The only other thing you should know about this keyboard is that it does not have any feet, so it will be stuck at the angle that it was created at. This is an excellent keyboard for wired use and definitely the best keyboard for wireless use. So if you can afford the $100 price tag, this is certainly worth it. And finally, for the number one spot, we have the Ducky 1-2 Mini. This keyboard comes with three types of switches, Cherry MX Brown, Cherry MX Red, and Cherry MX Blue. This keyboard has great RGB customizability as well as excellent macro customizability, which can be done through the Ducky software. It should be noted that the stock macro system can be a bit hard to use, however once you get the hang of it, the system will work perfectly fine. Some additional features of this keyboard are its feet and its removable USB-C cable, even though you can't use this keyboard wirelessly. You can also play Minesweeper on the keyboard, though I don't really know if I could call this a feature. This keyboard also has great build quality, which is always an added plus. If you are able to dish out the $100 for this keyboard, it will definitely not let you down. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you to all the people on the Discord server as well as all my YouTube members. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.